Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt Karma, founder of Total Body Transformation Camp. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can stay motivated when you're not losing weight. In this video right here, what I'm going to show you is the four keys to motivation. And it's a good question you need to be asking yourself. What do you need to be doing or what do you need to be focusing on if you're going to the gym or you're going for your walks or you're going for your runs and for some reason you step on the scale or you take body progression photos or you do your measurements and nothing is changing. How do you stay motivated when you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel the energy or that drive or the inspiration to get up in the first place to start walking and go to the gym? Well, I believe there are four things that you must be doing, four things that you must be focusing on. And you know, with my personal story, if you don't know my personal story, when I was a young kid, I was bullied as a kid for being, I wouldn't say overweight or obese, I was just a lot more chubby than all the other kids at school because it was a sports school. And I found that there were certain times where I just didn't feel like getting up. There were some times where I was doing the same thing over and over and nothing was changing. I found myself stepping on the scales and for some reason, nothing was going down. And I know from experience, just how challenging it can be. I know how I, know how I can feel and you just say to yourself, you know what, like, why am I doing this? Why am I even, why am I doing this workouts? Why am I keep eating all these foods if I'm not even seeing any progress? And it's because I didn't have these four things that I constantly felt like giving up. And it was from experience that I developed this philosophy of these four P's that you must have if you want to stay motivated to lose weight. Because it's inevitable that you're going to start to not see results as quick as you want. It's inevitable that you're not going to feel like getting up sometimes. It's inevitable that you're going to come across challenges on your weight loss journey. And let me show you the very first thing that you must have if you want to stay motivated. The first thing, and this is something that most people don't talk about, and that is patience. You know, your ability to just be patient when you're not seeing progress is one of the most important skills that you must develop. And keyword, it's a skill. You see, what happens is with society is speeding up now. You, you see uh, the internet, for example. With the internet, if you, want to, if you want to answer something, you don't have to wait all this time for you to get that answer. You can have it within a second. That's probably how you came to this video. You thought of an idea, you didn't have to go anywhere, you didn't have to get a personal coach, you didn't have to do anything. You just typed it up and you got the answer right here. So with everything starting to speed up, what happens is it starts to translate into other areas of life. With your relationship, with your finances, you think about people wanting to get rich quick, you think about people wanting to lose weight within 10 days. And there's nothing wrong with those things. However, if you become fixated on that mindset that everything must happen now, it starts to actually, you start to actually lose motivation because those things don't usually happen. You see, with your ability to lose weight, with you losing weight, what you need to understand is people don't really want to, people don't want to wait two years to get the results they want. They don't want, they don't want to think about it's going to take one year. They don't, want to, they don't want to think about it's going to take eight months. They want it now. They want it within 30 days. They want it within 60 days. They want, they want it within 12 weeks. So you don't want to be fixated on that mindset where you want everything in an instant. Have the ability to just go, you know what? I'm stepping on these scales right now and I'm not seeing the results that I want. I'm taking body progression photos and I'm not seeing the result that I want. I'm doing my measurements and I'm not dropping down. But that's okay. You know why? Because I'm going to get there. You need to be thinking of your weight loss journey, your body transformation journey, like walking up a hill. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tiring. It's going to feel like it's taking forever to get to the top. But if you just focus on, I'm just going to take one step at a time, knowing that I'm soon going to get to the top of the hill. I'm not going to quit at halfway. I'm not going to quit at the quarter of the way, which most people do. I'm not going to quit three quarters of the way. I'm just going to have the ability to just go, I'm going to get there. You know, if you ever think about losing patience, just remember that success doesn't happen overnight. And if it did, there'd be no growth. You know, the beauty with success being slow and hard is that it transforms us into something better. So just be, just have the ability to just be patient. So that's the first thing. The second thing you must have is one of the most important things as well, and that is purpose. You must have a reason for why you're doing what you're doing. Because if you don't, you, number one, you won't even start. Or number two, when you come across those challenges, you'll quit in an instant. 
Your ability to just have the purpose, the drive, the internal drive to keep on going. When you're stepping on the scales and you're not losing weight. When you're doing your measurements and you're not losing any centimeters. When you're taking body progression photos and there's no transformation. You need to go, okay, this is what I'm doing, what I'm doing. This is my goal. And I always say that a lack of motivation is a lack of compelling goals and not enough reasons to achieve those goals. You have those two things, and all that, that's basically what I mean by purpose. You having a compelling goal. Not just having a goal saying, I want to lose 10 kilograms by this day, but also making that compelling. What do I want to, when I lose those 10 kilograms, how am I going to feel? What is, what, what is that thing that is so compelling to you? Why do you want to achieve that? Because that's what makes it compelling. You just saying to yourself, well, I'm going to the gym today because I want to lose some weight. That's not going to do shit. You need to say to yourself, this is what I'm doing, this is what, this is what I'm going for, and this is why I'm doing it. That's what creates that compelling purpose. And that's what you must have if you want to stay motivated when things get hard. And with the third thing, the third thing is something that a lot of people don't have. And it's one of the most common reasons why people go three quarters of the way towards their goals and give up just before they hit it. You must have, if you want to stay motivated to lose weight, the third thing you must have is persistence. You know, this is something that we all need today. You think about Thomas A. Edison, you know, the guy who invented the light bulb. I don't know if you know his story, but I don't know where you are watching this video right now, but if you look up, most of you can look up and you see a light bulb. The reason why you have light in your house is because of that man right there. And I don't know if you know his story, but he failed 10,000 times. He attempted, sorry, I don't want to say failed. He attempted 10,000 times to invent the light bulb and it didn't work out. Can you imagine that? Can you, to put it into context with health and fitness, imagine this, let's say you want to lose 10 kilograms, right? Let's say you want to lose 10 kilograms and every single day you step on the scale to see yourself if you're, if you're getting results or not. And the first day goes by, you step on the scales, no weight loss. The second day goes by, uh, no weight loss. The third day goes by, no weight loss. If you went, let's say 300 days, out, let's, just, let's say you went 300 days of doing this, most people would give up by then, by then. Thomas A. Edison didn't. He kept going and going and going and going until he succeeded. You must, have the, you must be able to have the exact same ability or persistence that that man had. If you want to transform your body, if you want to lose the weight you've always wanted, if you want to create that dream body, that dream health that you've always wanted. And the good news is that you already have persistence ingrained into you. If, it, if you didn't have it, then you wouldn't be able to walk or talk. All those things require you failing, getting back up, and doing it again and again and again until you succeed. Transforming your body is the same thing, so don't quit. You must have that persistence to keep on going, even when things get hard, even when you keep failing, even when things are just, there's no evidence of success around you. You must have that ability to be persistent. And the fourth thing is you must have progress. I always say to people, if you don't feel motivated to work out, the very best thing that you can do, if you don't feel motivated to work out, is work out. Why do I say that? Because the thing that creates motivation, the thing that creates momentum is progress. The thing that creates momentum is growth. And you just getting into the habit of working out, that starts to create momentum. That starts to create motivation. So if you don't feel motivated to work out, I say, go and work out. If you don't feel motivated to eat healthy, go and eat healthy. Because you just doing that, you're gonna start to get those results. And that is what actually creates that momentum. That is what actually creates that motivation to keep on going. So you just seeing your progress. And the best thing that you can do is make sure you're, you're, you're able to see your progress. Because maybe right now you're getting so much progress, but you're not aware of it. That's what I would say. Take body progression photos, do your measurements, do your, uh, me measure how much you weigh, but don't become fixated on that because that's not the best thing to really be tracking your progress is, to, to, to track your progress. So make sure you're doing your weight, doing your measurements and doing your body progression photos. Do your body fat percentage as well if you can. So progress and, I, and not just that, but actually celebrating your results. I don't care if it's one kilogram or a hundred kilograms. Results are results. So celebrate that shit. So, that's, these are the four things that you must have to stay motivated when you're not losing weight. So here's my question to you before I wrap up. What, which one of these four P's do you think that you need to implement most in your life right now? 
do you have do you need to start to have the ability to just be patient and just know that you know what I'm gonna get there or for you is it do you just need to say to yourself okay why am I doing this in the first place do you need to see yourself a compelling goal and a compelling purpose or is it do you just need to be, be persistent do you just need to keep going and going and stick at it or the fourth thing do you just need to keep do you just need to implement what you already know to get that momentum going do you just need to see your progress so those are the four things. So leave a comment down below and until I see you in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love ourselves.